Four months ago, I bought this lens, the Panasonic 25mm f1.7 for about $150, and after using it on just about every project that I've done since then, I have absolutely no doubt that this is one of the best value lenses for Micro Four Thirds. Starting off with the build quality, this lens is extremely small and lightweight. It's made of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheaply made, and the lens hood is extremely easy to take on and off or even reverse. Unfortunately, the lens is not weather sealed, so you should be careful about shooting in heavy rain, but I have used this lens in some very damp environments and I've never had a problem. This lens could be considered the nifty 50 for micro four thirds cameras. It's the full frame equivalent of a 50 millimeter lens, which makes it a standard lens. So it's a close approximation to what the human eye sees. This means that at this focal length, any faces in your shot, as well as the depth, the compression, are going to look very natural. The lens has an aperture of f1.7, so if you're shooting portraits, you're going to get a nice shallow depth of field and a good amount of bokeh, and the bokeh that you do get is very smooth. Unfortunately, this lens is not stabilized. I shoot a lot of handheld video, so for that reason, I really wish that it was. But even though the lens is not stabilized, it does give you an extremely sharp image and very fast autofocus. Now, even though this lens has great autofocus, my biggest problem with it is the manual focus. The Let me show you something. So this is a normal camera lens, right? It's an 85 millimeter and you turn the focus ring and it moves a part of the lens and changes the focus in the shot. This is, this is good, it works. Panasonic's 25mm, on the other hand, uses a system called focus by wire. Now, what that means is that instead of having a mechanical system where you move the focus ring and it moves a piece of glass in the lens, therefore changing the focus, when you turn the focus ring, it sends an electronic signal to the camera to change the focus. And I just, I can't sleep at night because I'm up trying to figure out why Panasonic does that. As you probably know, if you shoot with Panasonic lenses, focus by wire causes there to be a very minor delay between you turning the focus ring and the focus actually changing, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but, but it is. So the manual focus with this lens, just like most other Panasonic lenses, is delayed just enough to feel unnatural and be tedious to use, so I almost never even bother trying to use manual focus on this lens. If you shoot photos, that's probably fine, but it's something to keep in mind if you're shooting video, if you want to do something like a rack focus shot. With this lens overall, the combination of the focal length, the bokeh, the sharpness, the autofocus, and just the overall portability and ease of use that this lens comes with makes it very good for someone shooting casual portraits of their friends, or someone like me who just wants to go out and have an easily portable and small setup that they can use to take videos. And that is why this lens is my go-to lens for absolutely everything. Except vlogging, but everything else, and why I think that this lens belongs in every Panasonic user's camera bag. But that is all for this week's video, and you might recall a couple of weeks ago when I made a tutorial about hyperlapses, I asked you guys to send in hyperlapses of your own. So here are all of those. Thank you to everyone who sent one in. I got a bunch of great submissions. And if you want to be featured in next week's video just like this, just go ahead and tell me in an Instagram DM or an email what your favorite lens is to shoot with, and send me a photo that you took using that lens, and I'll feature you right there in the next video. But that is all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload not one, but two new videos about filmmaking every single week. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.